Today we're gonna talk about lighting and how you can use it to create professional looking images. Hey guys, welcome to my new one. So over 15 years ago, I started filmmaking as a hobby and as I became better, I went into freelancing and worked with a professional gaffer for the first time. And it was mind blowing. It was like seeing color for the first time. Since then, I never worked on a project without a proper lighting setup ever again. And that's why I decided to create this video to show you the importance of light and to help you take better decisions in the future on your gear investments. Now let's set up an interview and compare both images with and without light. For this project, I'm gonna use my lovely Sony FX6 with my G Master lenses, all filmed in S-Log3 with 800 base ISO. As my key light, I will use my Aperture 600X with the Light on 150 to achieve beautiful soft shadows on my subject. I'm also gonna use a grid to reduce the light from spilling around the room. To get more dimension and separate my subject from the background, I need to set up a backlight. In this case, I'm gonna use my good old Aperture 120D and some band doors. Now let's make our background a bit more interesting. In this case, we can take the 600C and combine it with a spotlight. To get more color contrast, I'm gonna set this beam into a warmer color temperature. And that's pretty much it. Let's compare the setup side by side and see the difference. As we can see, even with an expensive camera setup, there's not enough contrast and dimension in the image, but with a good lighting, you can even film with an iPhone and get amazing results. In my opinion, a lot of filmmakers, including myself, are way too camera focused. I always watched big projects and thought to myself, why in the world does this image look so amazing? It must be a nice camera. But after all of my projects, I've realized that there is no professional cinematography without proper lightning setup. So if you want to create professional looking images, you have to learn film lightning and hire a gaffer for your bigger projects. And since you understand the lightning, you will see a big, big improvements in the quality of your projects. And that's pretty much it. I hope you understand the idea behind this video. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of my content, subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you in the next one.